What has happened here as part of Bethel Prosser is so much more than a building. It's to see the gospel of Jesus change lives so that all people in the valley live with hope, purpose, and freedom for the glory of God. And we've already seen God work in mighty ways. The main street here at, at Bethel Prosser is pretty unique, but it's 100% part of the vision of what we wanted because we wanted everybody to come in and get loved on. We wanted to be kind of a community center that had a church in it. it really is a church for the people. They're not closed-fisted. They're like, it's just, this is just for us, man. No, it is really open. It's a blessing not only to us, but also to the entire community in the Lower Valley. In those early days, we had more community members in our building than we had Bethel members. I remember sitting with the superintendent. We had just had a fourth kid in one particular class die by suicide. And he just said, we need your help. We need the church. What can you do to help us really rescue this generation? There are doors that were opened by the Lord that only he could have opened. Jason was really good for helping us focus on more community, which we were, but he even amped it up even more. New life, new things that were happening, new people. I was not the only new person, but man, just so much momentum. When we received this extra 15 acres, my thought immediately went to, hey, <laughs> let's put in some green space for the community. You know, people say that love is the universal language. I would say that soccer is probably second <laughs> only to that. Yeah. I mean, people speak the language of soccer and our community does. We went to the task of developing eight plus acres into green space and irrigating that with teams of people in the church. And how do we actually create a strategic bridge from the fields to the church? Yeah. And that's when ambassador soccer came to mind. And so I'm talking to people and they're going, man, I, we think the seed will actually be up, like grass will be grown with like two weeks to spare. So let's go ahead and do it. And so we launched into our first ambassador soccer camp. I think the youth ministry at, at Bethel Prosser, it was an experience. We got to see rededications, we got to see baptisms. Even with the leadership struggles that we had of finding a clear direction to go in, um, God still used the people that were willing and provided them the words to speak to the students who were really hurting. To see how young families are coming to Bethel Prosser and putting down roots and getting involved. You can especially see that in the women's program, the women's ministry. For me, the small group was really helpful in being able to to connect with other guys on more of a peer level and encourage one another. That time I think was was pretty critical because there's a lot of men that were going through the same thing mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. he was going through at the same time and it, it was it was just a good small group for them to start off with for sure. Without us moving to a church that focused on small groups, I think our family wouldn't have thrived as we would have liked it to. To think what God's doing is just for Prosser was limiting God. And as soon as we started acting like that and thinking like that, guess what? Hey, where are you from? Oh, Zilla. Where are you from? Oh, Sunnyside. Whoa, <laughs> what's going on here? God's for us as well. And that's exactly what we are trying to be as a church for the Valley. We wanted to be for its growth, for its health, for its flourishing in Jesus. Part of that, for me, extends even further. It's like, hey, if we're not even starting with the Valley, then we probably have no business reaching the world. The agricultural hub that that, that that Valley is in the world. There are hops that are grown in Grandview that make their way to China. It's, it's incredible to think about the reach of a small town with a product like that. We can do better than hops. And so that was our aim. Win the Valley, win the world. It's a Bible teaching church, and that's what people really need to hear. I think it's just God's church. It's just what He wants right now. We had tremendous fruit. We weren't sitting around trying to think of creative ways to make the church grow. We were sitting around trying to think of ways to keep up with the growth. Numerical growth, new people coming to know Christ, you know, marriages being saved, baptizing in a trough, which was a first for, for me. And I really believe if that church is positioning itself to win the valley, you're gonna win the world and just go get it.